Hi, this is William Steele, CEO of Where's My Media, and I've just uh, received my Samsung Galaxy S8. So I wanted to do an official unboxing. I have, of course, uh, already opened up the package, but let's just get down and dirty uh, to the S8. By the way, this is being recorded with my Galaxy S7 right now. Um, it was funny. Um, at first it said that the Gear VR with controller was back-ordered, but as you can see, um, it uh, updated pretty quickly uh, and showed that uh, these, the phone and the controller shipped together. So I do have my new um, Gear VR with controller, uh, which came in the same box that it was shipped with. Got a nice little handle here. Um, excited. We'll take a look at that in a second, but I want to get first to the actually the um, Samsung uh, Samsung S8 itself. So let's take that out. I have not even opened it yet, so you're going to see this with me. I'm sure there's a lot of other unboxing videos, but I wanted to do one um, just that uh, kind of shared the experience of opening it for the first time because I'm pretty excited. And all right, so we got a little piece of tape that I got to take op open up here. So let's see if I can open that. There we go. All right. Now, we've got that tape off. Let me just take that off. All right. And it's nicely displayed in the box here. Let's see what we've got. So, I also ordered a SIM card, which looks like I didn't need it, but it also came with a SIM uh, in another box. I'm not really sure why I needed that. As you can see in here, I've actually got a T-Mobile SIM card in here. Well, obviously, I ordered it as a T-Mobile carrier because you can only get it with carrier. You couldn't get, you can't get unlocked yet. So this is the 20th, so it's the day before it's coming in stores. So let's just take this bad boy out of here, and we'll take the plastic off, and let's just start this bad boy up. Let's see what happens for the first time. And well, that starts up. I can also look and let's see what's what else is in the box here. If I can multitask, so this doesn't isn't one of those long uh, unboxing videos like some. Now, if you don't activate this uh, within a month on the carrier, they'll charge you an extra hundred dollars. So I don't know if that means technically the phone is unlocked or how that works. Um, I did mine with a payment plan. So I see welcome and. It says start. So let's let's start and see what happens. Insert SIM to, to start network services, but looks like I can use Wi-Fi. Let me choose my Wi-Fi network. I'm not going to show that to you. Not that I think anybody would really be too interested in doing that. Okay. All right, very good. I'm going to connect that to my Wi-Fi here. I'm now connected to Wi-Fi. So I think I can actually use this without actually um, activating. I'm going to agree to the terms and conditions. Nothing too exciting there. All right, checking for software updates. I'd imagine it'll be fairly up to date. I'm going to take this plastic off. You know, I hate it when people leave the damn plastic on there devices somehow makes them feel like it's new. I think it's retarded. So we got all the plastic off of here. It's a nice, I like the size and the form factor. It's got that kind of, not quite to the edge like the edge. Um, it does have the rounded corners. Um, I guess I can add my Google account and stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure if it's really worth doing right now during this unboxing. I guess I can do that later. Um, see how I skip this right now? Skip. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know all about this. Let me just keep on going through here. I can do this later. See what I need to do to get you up and running. Shanghai time. All right. We're gonna go to. What, there's no no United States Eastern time here. Oh, I have to scroll up to get there. It's a little bit different. All right. Come on. We're not mountain time, we're Pacific, Eastern Mountain, Central, where's Eastern? Here we go, Eastern Daylight Time. Okay, 
1251, the time's right, very good. Okay, I'm just gonna put in my name, and once I put in my name. Next, I'm not gonna set up face recognition or fingerprint or iris scanner or any of this crap right now. I don't even know if I'll ever use it. Completing my setup. All right. I'm going to set up Samsung Cloud, Bixby. Let's see, what would I want to do? Well, let's just see what the main interface looks like. So I'm just going to skip all this stuff for now. Hurry up. I'm going to skip. Finish. See if this gets me through. It comes almost half full, which is nice. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it wants me to do diagnostic. Nah, I don't want to send T-Mobile my info. All right, so there you go. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's got actually a, a kind of, um, I don't know if you can see that, but the background actually moves as you move the phone. That's kind of cool. Let's see, so there's my camera. Okay, just telling me how to do all this stuff for the first time. I'm not sure what all this stuff is. Bixby Vision. Camera at an object or location. All right, so how do I turn this on? Can I turn it on? Ah, big zoo, for this I need to sign into my Samsung accounts. Hmm. What is my Samsung account information? Um, let's see here. See if that works. That's not the right password. Let's try one more. Yada, yada, yada. That's not it either. All right, well, this is definitely not going to make the uh, this go quickly. So maybe I'll edit some of this out. Come on. All right, well, well that's probably my email here is wrong. I just don't remember what's not working either. I know I do have a Samsung account, I just don't remember which it's under. I thought I would have made it under my Gmail account. Okay. Um, let's try this again. Man. Very multiple passwords and emails it becomes a bit of a pain in the butt. Because you never know what anybody's password requirements are. Alright, fine. We're going to cancel this for now. It wants me to do big speed vision. But anyway, it's nice. I got the silver one. And we'll forget the big speed vision. Um, let's see. Swipe up. Oh, that's nice. Samsung apps, Galaxy apps, internet, Samsung Connect, Samsung Gear, health, notes, blah, blah, blah. And a secure folder. I'm not exactly sure how that works. Keys prime is away from your private files. Oh, that's kind of neat. I'll mess around, mess around with that at another date. Um, I don't know what settings we have. Looks pretty much like my other phone. I'm probably running about the same... Android 7, version 7, Samsung Experience version 8. So, I guess it's cool. I took a picture of my camera really quick. I see. So I guess it does kind of have the curved edges like the like the, uh, the other one. Well, I kind of like these curved edges, I think, a little better. I don't know what I just did there. Oh, I guess I can find my favorite apps by swiping the edge of the screen. What is that going to do? Oh, thing for faces. Yeah, yeah. I don't use any of that crap. I'm not an Instagrammer. So, I guess it's about as excited. I don't know why. It feels a little underwhelming compared to my old phone. Um, well, not compared to my old phone. It's just underwhelming in general. But, 
you know, it's fine. Yeah, we'll look at Bixby Vision later. All right, well, it looks like the um, the call stops recording. Um, so, anyway, oh, they've got the always on display. I think I could do that on my old one, too. Never mess with I never really get into the advanced features. So let's move on now from the S7, which is about the same size, maybe a little thinner and a little bit taller I don't know, than my old phone. Um, I don't think the pixel density is any higher for the gear. Oh yeah, this is the USB-C thingamajig on there. So now let's move to the gear VR controller. So I can take this tape off. Looks like actually it's been opened before, which is surprising. And maybe that's why it's free. Maybe they're refurbished. Not that I really care. All right, we've got that open. There we go. Oh yeah, this has definitely been opened before. And I definitely got a refurb unit. I think they probably that's why I was back ordering. They probably started shipping refurbs, but you know, it's free. What am I going to complain about? You know, the user manual, same crap you usually get. We've got the controller. A little little controller. I'm really interested to see how well this bad boy works. Oh, got a little button here. Home button back, up and down. Yeah, simple. Sometimes simplicity is beauty. We'll find out. I'm not sure. What else? Oh yeah, more of these little adapter thingamajiggies. USB-C to micro USB. Headset strap. I've already got a couple headsets. Some batteries for the controller. A little, probably for a wrist thing for the controller. And last but not least, the actual Samsung Gear. I, I already have one of these. I think it's pretty much the same. I don't think there's a difference in between this one, only it's got this shiny cover. If my cover's not shiny, not that it really matters to me. Now let's see what happens. It's probably going to want me to install the Gear VR stuff when I put this on. Let's give that a shot. Oops. See what happens. Let's just put it in. See if it's already pre-configured or not. So see how easily it slides under the USB-C plug. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Alright, that works. Now this is not... I don't think it's quite... Okay. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. It doesn't seem to... It kind of goes below this. And that doesn't quite seem right. So I'm wondering if maybe I need to push it in further. It might be on the B side. So let's try that. It's locked. Alright, let's push you back in here. Put you down. Yeah, I think that's better. We need it locked in place. Let's see what happens. Uh, nothing. No... It just has a screen that says Gear VR, please start here. The network error occurred. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know why. The network error occurred because of this thing is not quite set up on my, my network just yet. But, there you go. I need to add this guy to my um, the MAC address filtering, which I have on my firewall. And by the way... Um, also, for the Samsung S7, which I want to be careful because I don't want to crack the screen like I did on my S7, even though it gave me a good reason to upgrade. Again, USB, you know, you get the USB to you know, C to um, USB on the go, basically, and then another micro to USB C right here. So that's about it. Um, you see the, the mess that I've made here. And also, for those of you who don't know, uh, I live on a boat. So if you would just like a quick tour, for anybody that's not quite uh, familiar with it's like living on a boat, here you can see my, my setup where I usually put my MacBook and all that fun stuff, cable box, router. Yes, I have Fios internet, Verizon Fios on my boat. I've got some servers that I use for VR stuff, transcoding and encoding and rendering, all that fun stuff. 
100 terabytes of storage down here. Let's see if we can get a little closer look here. Got uh, some fiber fiber channel arrays down there. And as you can see, I'm at a marina on the water. And uh, yeah, it's kind of a neat way to run this tech startup. It's warming up a little bit today. It's a beautiful day. This is at Liberty State Park in Jersey City, New Jersey. And um, yeah, living the boat life and doing a tech startup on the boats. So hopefully you enjoyed this, um, this unique unboxing and all my crap here. And um, hopefully I enjoy my S7. And hopefully I enjoy T-Mobile. Uh, previously on Metro PCS well, right now, I'll be switching to T-Mobile. And um, hopefully that will treat me better than Metro PCS. Metro PCS was not bad. So, thank you for your time. This is William Steele, CEO of Warsma Media and Border Extraordinaire, signing out. Cheers. And um, if you're gonna be out in NAB, uh, hit me up. I'd like to uh, catch up and I'll be doing some videos at NAB as well. Bye.